working hello everyone to me and here i pray all is well with you in this video i'm doing um a bible drawing page um for my uh, my prompt february prompt which was to do um a bible journaling page on your favorite verse i decided to do it in my verse mapping bible and i'm so happy that there's actually a verse mapping template in this bible for my favorite scripture which is proverbs 3 5 through 6 trust in the lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make your paths straight the king james version reads a little bit different which i like the word submit um and this is the niv version and all your ways submit to him and he will make your path straight the king james version reads in all your ways acknowledge him and he will direct your path right Tr um trust in the lord with all thine heart and lean not unto thine own understanding in all your ways acknowledge him and he will make and he will direct your path so i'm going to hold on one second i wanted to get um something one minute hold on okay so i'm going to go ahead and do the verse mapping page um i also have wrote down some notes so i don't have to do it all of that while i'm on here um some research that i wanted to do so now i'm going i read verse um proverbs 3 5 through 6 i'm going to put put on the line trust in the lord okay with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all we're going to circle in all and i'm going to put i'm going to circle all here too all your heart and all your ways submit to him one two three and he will make your path straight and i'm gonna give that a check right there because that's what he will do right and so now i'm going on to number two on the verse mapping template let me make sure let me see if i can make this a little bit bro oh matter of fact let me one second okay okay um number two design right which are um the other translations of the same verse in number one um, I'm going to read the New King James Version. It reads, Trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways. Acknowledge Him and He shall direct thy paths. So that's the New King James Version. And then, I don't know, I just feel like this could be a little bit more focused on. Um, I think it's the how high I have the webcam. Let me see if I can lift it up a bit. Yeah, I like that better. Okay, I just have to hold it up until I do the journal page. And when I'm writing, of course, I'll put it down. But I'm reading it, so just in case some, some people like to read it while they're on camera. So here's the New American Standard Bible version. Trust in the Lord with all your heart and do not lean on your own understanding. In all your ways, acknowledge Him and He will make your paths straight. So you know um i like reading it in um different translations i'm not going to put another one here i have niv the new king james version and a new american standard bible version and that actually the new king james version is reading very close to the king james so number three is develop right and with develop it is the um you know some word work some def definition so i'm going to put here i'm going to write some notes on my template focal verse then right here i'm going to put different translations then right here i'm going to put definitions Because I think if someone saw this in isolation, like verbs, design, develop, those words can be like, you know, defined. Well, they didn't define them, but they could be interpreted differently, right? Um, 
but in the context this is what it means different translations for design and develop definitions but someone may not know that if they didn't know the context of or the makeup or the structure of a verse map so for develop which are the definitions they have in he in um hebrew is seon okay so the definition to lean is to lean oneself upon to rely on dependent right so do not depend on your own understanding right do not rely on your own understanding right then they have right here submit slash acknowledge and in hebrew that's yada and the definition is to know to recognize understand to be known make oneself known to cause to know to make oneself known this can range in meaning from the mere acquisition and understanding of information to intimacy and relationship so lean not in on your own understanding and all your ways acknowledge right so recognize god right and then they have submit I like that too so it's like really going to God how does that look because we could know what it means but how would how how does that look how do we do that praying consulting God's Word what does he say about our situation what does he what does he say about the matter so that's acknowledging him praying to him asking him for guidance and direction and advice and again consulting his word because he is his word jesus is the word right that this is the logos we go to the, go to god's word and say okay what does god say about um a b c d e f g right so we don't lean we don't depend on our own human understanding because the way we will probably handle a situation or look at a situation is not necessarily the way god sees it that's why God says his ways and his thoughts are higher than ours. So we have to acknowledge him. We have to recognize who he is as Lord and Savior. Not just God of the universe, God of creation, but Lord and Savior. That means he rules, he reigns, he has the, the say in our lives as Christians, right? And so if he directs our life. He governs us. So we recognize him and go to him and his word um, for um answers and you know um advice and wisdom and knowledge and understanding and then there's paths and in the hebrew it is orak orak and it means the roadway the path thoroughfare by extension way of life manner of conduct the way of a woman means and then they have their childbirth. So he will direct our paths. He guides us in life. He shows us the way of life. And we know Jesus is the way, the truth, and the life. But we still, and, and that is true. And he tells us the way of life. Still, we need to go to him and ask for guidance in, as we are in him. So, I looked up the word trust as well because that wasn't there. And trust is to rely on, right? And to have confidence in. So trust in the Lord with all your heart. Rely on the Lord with all your heart. Put confidence in the Lord with all your heart. And lean not, right? Don't depend on your own understanding. Rely on the Lord with all your heart. So I love that because it breaks it down. Because you know we can read some of the words but it doesn't mean that we understand what we understand really what's going on or we be we will be using um a denotation no a connotation of the word meaning you know people could use the word any kind of way in different contexts and then but we don't have a denotation what that word means within a particular context so yeah so trust rely have confidence in the lord and with all your heart and so i looked up that as well right using um you know the, the the hebrew right and to trust the hebrew um it's not the lexicon but the um, hebrew meaning looked up the hebrew meaning and i looked it up on bible hub and um that all your heart is the inner man the mind 
So with all our being, with all our heart, we know it's like what are what we are composed of, our mind, our inner man, you know, so we don't um God doesn't want us to trust him with part of our um heart, you know, but with all of our heart. And um I'm sh I'm I will honestly say that I need the Lord to even give me more and in-depth understanding of that when you preaching on the heart because you know it's not the heart that we draw like this right or the organ right right it's our being right and i think sometimes even breaking that down is um a, a it's a challenge for me sometimes to break it down because you know sometimes you'll know something but to break it down for someone else you know um it's it's a little bit more challenging i know for me it is anyway but um one of the things that's on my heart is that um when i think about trusting the lord with all my heart I, I it can't just be in word it also has to be in deed right and that's going to be the evidence so like even like surrendering my will to him you know um that indicates me trusting the lord with all my heart if i say oh trust the lord trust the lord i'm trusting the lord but then my actions don't line up it's going to be called into question whether i trust in the lord with all my heart i know from for me and if i'm reluctant to surrender my will then i have to talk to god about that and say lord you know i trust you but i'm having a problem trusting you fully in this area because i could see that i don't want to surrender my will to you and so but i want to trust you with my whole heart in every area of my life so please just help me to surrender my will because that will that's the evidence um my obedience to you and so yeah so again trust rely have confidence in all your heart means your inner man and your mind so even like when i think about mind trust in the lord with all my heart and the definition in the hebrew it it says mind it makes me think like how i don't want my mouth to be saying one thing but my mind is somewhere else and I'm, i remember one time someone said um a person can come to church and they can have their dress down to their knee their dress down to their ankles they can wear no makeup have their hair in a bun right have a turtleneck on and be a harlot in their mind and i was like wow when it, then he said that i was like that is powerful because all the things that you know as human beings we have a tendency to look at outward appearance but remember god looks at the heart he looks at the very being of us what are what are our desires our thoughts what do we ponder what do we meditate on so i would not want to have all the outward signs of um i'm trusting god but in my mind i'm i'm a harlot or i'm just very i'm wayward or i'm not acknowledging god i wouldn't want that and so i'm just praying and asking god to live out this verse um according to what he means it to be you know what he what it is what it what it is so um yeah so i'm going to now you see there's no more room here for me to put that but i have um something for that so i looked at some other verses before i'm going to four and five i looked at um i did some cross referencing and i actually have four scriptures that i really want to document in connection to this verse that gives me some more understanding and i'm gonna read them one is psalm 37 5 could commit your way to the lord trust in him and he will do it philippians 4 6 um be anxious for nothing but in everything by prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god and i'm gonna go back to psalm 37 5 because when i think about trusting in the lord with all my heart it makes me think of also committing my way to the Lord, right? And I think about the latter part of verse, um, Proverbs 3, 5, 6, where it says, Acknowledge him in all your ways and he will direct your paths, right? When I read Psalm 37, 5, not only is it reiterating to com 
to trust in him because it says commit your way to the lord trust in him and he will do it whatever that is um we want to do we got to commit it to the lord like you know our dreams or whatever he places in our heart commit it to him give it to the lord and he will do it now that's not magic we're co-laborers with christ so you know we are sensitive to what he would have us to do right but it's still his strength that enables us to do it and it's he he's the one that give us breath right he's the reason why we breathe and him we live and move and have our being so everything is still attributed to god god still gets the glory even if it's something that we put our hands to do and he he you know work through us he still gets the glory because if he didn't give us the strength if he didn't work us in us to will and to do his good pleasure and he just didn't give us the presence of mind and the ability to do it we would not do it so he gets the glory and it is him doing it philippians 4 6 be anxious for nothing but in everything my prayer and petition with thanksgiving present your request to god so again that makes me think on relying on god trusting the lord with all my heart i don't have to be anxious about anything leaning to my own understanding yes i may initially feel it because i'm human we do you know we're, we're human so we're going to feel those emotions anxiety and worry but god we surrender it to god and say god look god i'm feeling anxious about this and i don't want to feel anxious i don't want to stay in that state of mind because it's not good it's not good for us mentally and physically and emotionally it's just so it's it's we are complex and we are fearfully and wonderfully made and that stress and anxiety can it can wreak havoc on one's mind heart body and soul right not to mean not not to mention it's offensive because it's not faith and without faith it's impossible to please god so um yeah trust in the lord with all my heart and lean not to my own understanding i'm not gonna i don't have to be anxious for anything i pray about it make my petition thanks god and make my request known unto him and then it says the peace that surpasses all understanding will guard and keep your heart and mind in christ jesus so that's still god directing our paths right there in the way of the peace the peace the fruit of his spirit that he gives us um then proverbs 16 3 commit your works to the lord and your plans will be achieved yes give it to the lord and remind, going right back to psalm 37 5 just committing it to god trusting in the lord relying it on him and your plans will achieve be achieved because when we surrender whatever it is to god we're going to have success and what that success looks like is relative, right? Whatever God said, if God said, this is going to happen, if you do this, if we do this, we can be assured that that's going to happen. Now, if we, we think something is going to happen because we did this and God didn't say that's what's going to happen. And then we say we're not successful. I'm sorry. Okay. Why do they have to ring the bell like that? One minute. Yeah. So, um, like I was saying, so if I think there's going to be an outcome and God didn't tell me that there's going to be an outcome. And then I say, oh, it's not successful. Uh, I have to go back and revisit and say, okay, God, did you say this is what's going to be the outcome? Um, whatever you say is going to be the outcome. If I do A, B, C, D, E, F, G, and then I see that outcome manifested, then it is indeed successful. No matter like what someone else may think or even my own perceptions of what should have and what's supposed to be um okay i'm back that was the people delivering something i guess he figured let me press it real hard and long so they don't hear it so first peter 5 7 let's cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you so i saw a connection in there with trusting the lord relying on the lord um and not leaning to my own understanding but i i notice too when i'm leaning to my own understanding that's when i'm really anxious because you know the human side of me can start to like think about all oh, what could happen what if this happened oh my god and it's like wait you that's not 
that's fear, that's for, that's false evidence appearing real. And actually, there's nothing to indicate that that would be the case. But you know, our minds can go somewhere else and it creates us to feel anxious, cause us to feel anxious. But just looking to the Lord and turning it over to the Lord and relying on Him um, makes all the difference. So I'm going to go ahead now and do number four. Um, what actions develop the story in this verse? What is happening in this verse? And to whom? Um, and so, this is Proverbs. So, you know, it's more. It's not more like stories. It's more like, um, it shows usually opposites, right? Do this, don't do this, or don't do this, do this. Or this is what's right, and this is, and this is what's wrong, vice versa. So, um, I'm going to put here... Um, but the verse is the verse. Is encouraging me, and it's the verses. Is verses are are encouraging me. To rely on. And have confidence in God. Alpha in the Lord, which is God and the Lord. And I'm gonna put in parentheses trust, trust Him. Right? Um, I don't have to. figure things out on my own which creates anxiety worry and makes things worse. That's leaning on my own understanding. And I'm going to put relying. That's relying on my under my understanding, my human understanding. Okay, um, I'm to acknowledge God, acknowledge the Lord, um, submitting to Him, and I'm going to put even though it's with trusting the Lord with all your heart, I'm right now. I'm not parroting the scripture. I'm writing down the understanding that the Lord has given me based on the verse and what I've you know read in the past. That's in connection with this verse where He's spoken to me heart previously, and even looking at the cross references. So I don't want to write it verbatim because that's that's up there. I want to write what the Lord is speaking to my heart, how I can live this out. So, so acknowledge the Lord, submit to Him with all my heart, with all my heart, submit to Him with all my heart. Which is evident of me trusting Him. Me trusting Him. Oh, I wrote a little bit. Okay, I'm gonna, I'm gonna go right here, trust in him. It was on a slant, so it kind of went off. I kind of don't have that space right there. Trust in to write, trust in him with all my heart. I'm gonna put mind. 
surrendering will. Surrendering my will. My enemy in. Yielding to him. He will guide me. He guides. I'm gonna put it in present tense because that's what he does. He guides me, leads me, instructs me in living for him. His way. Right? Living for him his way. So, what is God saying to me today? How do I apply this to my life? Um, trust God. Pray. Surrender to Him. Obey Him. Yield to him. And. Wait on him. Alright. I wrote that in print. A little larger print. Because I have a little bit more space. Wait on him. Remember. He will guide me. Every step of the way. And everything. Okay. So, I did that part of the, um, you know, by the journaling page. So, now I'm going to go, oops, I'm going to go on to the creative part. What I want to do, though, is highlight this scripture here. Let me get this highlighter. I want to get, like, a pink one. And, um, I have something else in mind. to do today differently um, I'm going to highlight trust in the Lord with all your heart and lean not on your own understanding in all your ways submit to him and he will make paths make your path straight so I highlighted that and um, I'm still going to save this definition put it up here because it's something I want to do with it I want to Instead of using a washi tape, I want to use this from Y'all Memory Keepers. Um, it's like a stamp, you see. And um, but you know it, it's kind of spotty at times. That's why I don't like it. I don't like when it's spotty. But you know, but I'm gonna take it as like like interest using. It gives a little bit of interest, but I can. I was thinking about. Let me see how this will work. Hold on one second. Let me get the. I want to use black because I do not want to mess up this. Thing. Hold on. I want to see what will happen if I use some archival ink. Um. See how that will do. Oh, oh, it it got on the thing there. Let me see. Let's see. So you know, I'm just gonna go with it being like interest. <laughs> you know, um, it'll be spotty, but it's okay. Don't have to be perfect for me to enjoy it. 
and I want to do it on a, like a squiggly line. I'm purposely not doing it straight. Right? And so it's not a it's not um a perfect print. It's more distressed like. But yes, that's what I like. Yeah. And let me go right here. I like that I'm turning it. Good. Alright. So um I wish I would have went a little bit further up here, but who's to say I can't put more flowers? Yes. And I think actually that's better than trying to have it single wand. It's like Oh, you putting more flowers, but I'm gonna leave this page alone. But I like that. Okay, something different, and something di also different. I wanted to do was I wanted to do like a second generation generation stamping over here. Um, not with the black, but with this distress oxide. I want to see how that's gonna work. So let me show you what I mean by that. Um, Okay, now I know I had those stamps. Let me pause this real quick. I must have moved it. Oh, hold on one second. Okay, I found what I was looking for. So, um, you see these hearts? Now, I don't know what this is going to look like. It might make this page look very, very busy. Um, I'm going to use, I have... Some other hearts here so let me just see I'm gonna test it out and see so we have this heart we have this one and we have this one and then these so let me put that um, and I have the stamp pad here which is kind of dirty I probably should clean it up. Just clean this stamp so it won't look so bad if I could get this ink off I may not be able to and I'm not gonna change the stamp yeah I can eventually get that off or something but that ain't working right now but I don't want to be distracted with that so right what I'm gonna do is first I'm gonna use this and the reason why I thought to do it second generation because I don't want it I don't want it to be like how can I say um so strong I want it to be light like that you see how light that is because I want to put the hearts and I think I am going to go ahead and use just the pink so I have to keep stamping off right so I want to just try it one more time just to see okay yeah okay so I'm going to stamp it off and then guy stamp it off right so I'm still be able to see if I'm gonna stamp it off so over here right because I'm trying to get these little hearts all over wait the page so second generation stamp yeah, you see, I don't know if you can see that. Right. And I even think the third. Yeah, I like even a third one. Right, so I'll stamp it off. And then I'm right here. Then right here. Yeah, I could do the second and the third. But I gotta want to make sure that it's inked up pretty nice, you know. And then come right here. Stamp one from stamp here, and then come on over here. The only thing is that this block.
it was getting in the way the page you know stamp off now come over here stamp yes and, oh I could have did a, a second one stamp right here and then and then I'll bring back the stamp when I'm off out of these corners off and now come in here because I I wanted to do this but all I kept I was like but if it's so dark it's gonna look kind of weird so I was like I will have to lighten it to do to get the effect that I really want and I see that it is coming out a little bit like what I desired it to do um so now I'm gonna put it back on the side now on a, um, acrylic block rather I always call that a stamp it's an acrylic block so here we go I'm gonna go right here then right here I'm gonna do second generation oops stamp off right here do that do this right here come off of it second generation that was the third one right here we we'll do second generation here and third generation here right here I'm going to do second generation here third generation there then right there then right here stamp off stamp off right here second. okay I think I'm good I think I'm okay. Wait, no, I'm not right here, down here. So I'm gonna have to take this off because it's that. I want to get in that corner over right here. And then right here. So put that in second generation right here. And third right here. And here too. Okay, I think I'm gonna stop there. Okay, it doesn't have to be perfect. Okay. I guess this is just some. All right, one second. I know. Just wait. Let me come at the bottom. Get rid of it in here. At the bottom. So I'm gonna get that at the bottom. Okay. So I'm good with that. Okay. So it's wanting a little bit, but it's not. It's the hearts are very evident on the page, so I'm okay with that. It looks a little different, but different is not bad, and not in my opinion anyway. So, um, I'm gonna go ahead now. I'm gonna put trust God with all my heart, and so I'm going to use some small alphas for that, and you'll see why in a minute, because I desperately want to use that space for some more writing versus hold on a minute okay I think this will be this should be these letters should work I just gotta make sure I have enough T R wait let me go T R U S T G O D do it yeah, I have enough. So I'm gonna go here. Let me see. J E S U S. I have enough. I wanna put trust Jesus. Trust. I don't like this one. This one got more of like a um 
I like the more pointy. Uh, sorry. Okay, where is it? Oh, let's see some more. I got a couple of these around. Oh. oh okay. Like these better. So trust. Too, that I think I prefer than even these, but it's a nice thing. Out. Yeah, I like that one. Here's my other one. This one. Let me go back to this one. I ain't gonna go look around for it right now. That's weird. I usually put stuff right back because I don't like this foolishness right here. But it's probably somewhere on my table and I didn't. Because I got a couple of stuff around me. So. But this is why it's so important to put things back. Because you see. Oh my God. I'm put it here. So let's see. Why would it be somewhere else? See, this is what I don't get. Like, hold on. Okay, see, I knew I wasn't tripping it. I had to think in one of the containers where I usually keep these it's just that it went all the way down because I usually put it on it like this like you know doing like this you know like that but I made a spick and put it down so when I was off camera y'all should have I was like what in the world why is this okay so trust to do this because I have to be somewhere at 4 30 so let's get this done I don't want to rush it though I always go come back so I'm not going to be talking much so I can concentrate but I don't want to speed it up and then if something's on my heart to say I can say it and sometimes when you go to add music and then you start talking and then you want to stop the music that takes a lot more editing and so when I don't mind it sometimes but it also it all has a lot to do with how much time trust Jesus um, you know how much time I'm working with uh -huh. relative oh I should say contextual I'm working on my vocabulary and grammar and stuff like that I like that I like doing that vocabulary it's interesting It'll get better and better I always think 
practice helps with progress. I don't think about perfection. I know when the Bible says perfect, it's talking about us in Christ as we are complete in Him. And not that we won't make mistakes and stumble at times. So I like to think of progress and not perfection in terms of my growth with all because um it becomes too much pressure for me actually will have the the adverse effect it actually stunts my growth and saying too busy doing the old beat up session and I don't got nobody got time for that got Satan in the world already doing that trying to do that I don't need to do that to myself we don't need to do that to ourselves God ain't doing that to us Jesus ain't doing that to us I also too realize that when you for the most part when we see it from a place that we're all very already victorious and thinking about God's ability what I find is that I'm more encouraged because it's like oh God yes Lord God you got this but when I start looking at it from a real negative standpoint like oh my god it's so bad and I'm never gonna and look I don't measure up that's when you know I start feeling condemned and that does not help me with growing makes me fearful and makes me feel rather fearful and hopeless um, so I like to recognize that God is in control and that He's able and He's helping me. So I don't there's no need to beat myself beating myself up and wallowing in self pity is not gonna impress God. He just wants me repentant. He wants us repentant. You know, he wants us to have godly sorrow, not remorse, but godly sorrow. My, my uh, friend, one of my best friends, was we were talking about um, some things, and uh, we, she mentioned how Judas, how he went and killed himself when once he realized he betrayed Jesus. She said, because he was remorseful. He wasn't repentant. And I was like, wow. So he felt all this guilt and shame. But he wasn't repentant. And he was so he was just full of worldly sorrow, remorse. And he didn't kill himself. Yep. I'm sorry, I know this is taking a long time. You can just go ahead and fast forward. But I'm not going to speed this up at all. So the other day, I think it was like, not, well, I say the other day, but it was like last week, which is not too many days ago. Um, um, to be exact, it was the day that I did the first verse mapping um, not the introduction of the Bible itself, but when I did the, um, the verse map activity, it was so long. And I told my husband, I said, that thing is so long. And I was like, oh my goodness, I need to speed some parts of this up because it was so long. And I was like. You know, probably three people going to look at this thing because it's so long. And do you know, to my surprise, that thing was the highest watched video that I had that week. 
And I was like, you know what? I would have never imagined that that video was going to be... And I think... I don't think I ever had any video that had 50-something views in one day. Unless it was something live. Or like when I was doing those lives, I think it was last summer. But I was like, oh my God, that video is so long. And, and several people took the time to sit down and watch that video. And so that's why I was like, Lord, I can't, I don't want to lean to my own understanding. You say just put it up there, just put it up there. Because some things I put up there, I'm like, oh, I think, you know, this is art stuff. And, but God knows. That's not my job to sit there and ponder how many people going to watch what. I can't. Because I never know. I never know what's going on with that algorithm, to be honest with you. So this is what I wanted to do. Um, I really wanted to put the no the verses on in my Bible. So, um, I'm doing this one. I'm writing exactly on a page. Psalm thirty-seven five. Commit. your way to the Lord trust in him trust in him and he will do it alright that's the first one the second one here I'm going to put I'm going to put Proverbs 16.3 Commit your works to the Lord and your plans will succeed Commit your plans to the Lord Oh, commit your works. Commit your works. I'm going to go over here. And commit your plans too, but it says commit your works. So I'm going to go here and put works to the Lord and your plans will succeed. Because I really see that as important. I'm, I have my finger here like I got that that. that. T there. Oh my God. Because works, I think about as we do all things as unto the Lord. So you can have a plan, but when you're doing your when you're doing the actions, you want to commit those actions to the Lord. So I think about the works as well. And just life in general. My life in general. All around, overall. You know? And your plans will be achieved um um i put succeed i know some versions say succeed but i'm gonna put achieved here i put a you know the slash and then be achieved and now i'm gonna go on to number three um i'm gonna put first peter five seven And this one really speaks to my heart, even though in the verse itself it says nothing about anxiety. But that's when we have to we we always have to trust the Lord. But you know, when you're feeling anxious, like that thing is a beast. And living with anxiety, I mean, we all get attacked with anxiety. But I learned like what anxiety, like being in a state of anxiety, what it does to you, is horrendous. God, that thing is horrendous. It wreaks havoc on. That's why doctors say watch it because your blood pressure, your heart, your stomach, your um, it could people get ulcers from worry. We are so could our body, we mind, heart, body, soul, everything's connected. It's connected. 
and um um I was watching one of my school videos about you know a psychology video and it was talking about how with anxiety your body could be in a state of flight fright um fight and fright fight and flight and the reason why it wreaks havoc on our it can wreak havoc on our body if we're in that state because for someone to always be in a state of flight and fright that's not a place to live that's a place that we go when something happens but then we're supposed to come back to baseline your heart is not supposed to be staying in overdrive your mind oh my god oh my god oh my god that's not that's not that's why god says god says be not anxious because not does it not only lack trust in him but he knows what it does to us even something as simple like if you think not simple but if somebody's drowning in the water they start panicking <laughs> they begin to sink deeper they begin to sink you gotta we gotta learn how to like like is it a buoy i don't know but it's like float you know what i mean well i hope you know what you may not know what i mean but but i know it's only god that can help me to regulate cast all your anxiety gotta definitely cast it on him cast all my cares and trust him and sometimes it's like lord can you stop turning my mind off you know lord help me not to feel this help me not to feel anxious or nervous or a wreck cast all your anxiety on him because he cares for you mm, that's so beautiful God's got it and number four the last verse that I'm gonna write here is beat Philippians 4 6 and I'll save that because that has like more words in the verse Philippians 4 6 be anxious for nothing but in everything in everything in everything by prayer and petition um you know the king james reads supplication with thanksgiving present your request to God and I'm going to go ahead because I see like God's peace it's guidance as well like God will guide me um, will direct my paths and he directs me into peace and I'm going to go ahead and write um one second present because on the thought and the peace that passes and the peace that surpasses and the peace that surpasses all understanding. <laughs> she got upset because all these watching TV. God. Okay. Oh, let me see if I do. All right. Oh, sorry. Yeah. I'm going to do something here. I, I put Philippians 
times rule six. Okay, I got room to put seven. Okay, I just want to know. Shall will guard. Because you know, some says guard and keep, and then there's guard and let's keep. We'll guard, keep. Your heart's in mind. Through Christ Jesus. Because sometimes when you read different translations, you know, you begin to merge them as you're talking. And it may confuse someone, but I don't want to cause confusion. Okay, so here we go. So I don't like when my pages are curling up like that. So let me just do this real quick. Okay, I know once I lay it down, it'll work out. So last but not least, what I'm going to do is these tippings. Now, the good thing is that these tippings are already... Um, these are some... Um, cards that I have some journal cards um, so I'm gonna back these two because right here I'm going to write out a prayer and I could just put prayer here and then write out my prayer and then this one right here is I'm going to use to write out a couple of notes um, and I'm not since I wrote the scriptures out over here I'm just gonna go here and put like the the verse that I wrote. I'm not going to write out the verse and put the rest of my definitions. So, you know, it's like, you know, and I don't have to put anything on top because it's me. If I want, I could put notes right there. Lyra, I can't pick you up right now, okay, sweetie pie, because I'm, I'm writing something, okay? I will pick you up afterwards. Let me finish this and then Auntie will pick you up, okay? All right, like, okay, one second, one second. Let me get that. Hold on, Mom. Let me get, let me, okay, but you can't take anything off my desk, please. Come on. Come here. Come here. Lady, lady. All right. No, 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 no. See, mm -hmm. I knew it. Here. Here. Your dad. I want to have that. Yeah, because I know. I know you want to play with this stuff here, but you can't, Mama. You can't do it wrong. Well, some stuff you can't. Pink. Pink on. Pink on. Yeah, that's a pink highlighter. You're correct. 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 It's correct. Yeah. Pink. Pink here. Yeah. Pink on. You know what I'm making? I'm making a tip-in. A tip-in. For my Bible. A Bible. Bible, right. I'm doing some Bible journal. I'm making a Bible journal. Bible journal. Oopsie. Oopsie. Oh so, what I'm doing now is I'm... Let me move this over here. I'm going to try to put this in alignment. It's not alignment. That alignment, yes. Alignment. Okay. Alignment. Yes, alignment. Alignment. There we go. Thank you, Jesus. Tears. Yeah, Jesus. Tears. Jesus. Yes, Jesus loves me. Yes, Jesus loves me. Who loves you? The Jesus. Jesus? Tears. Yeah. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Oh, okay, no. Okay, so right now I'm gonna go ahead and put prayer. Prayer. Yeah, prayer. I have a stamp. I think I want to a use. Stamp. Yes, I have a prayer stamp. A prayer stamp. Mhm. Mm so I'm gonna use a prayer stamp. Mhm. Mm a prayer stamp. Yeah, that's this is what a prayer stamp looks like. You see? And, a stamp. Mhm. Mm and so Auntie's gonna. Put it on an acrylic block. A pretty block. Yeah. This is. Yeah, mm. it's about Jesus, baby. A bus for Jesus, baby. Mm hmm. Okay. 
Okay, so there we go. So I'm gonna go ahead and stamp right in this. Stamp. Mm -hmm. You gotta tell them say we gotta put the stamp. And put a stamp. Mhm. Mm Pink. Okay, there we go. Prayers. It's a little bit not all the way to the side, but ouch. But once I put like a um. Oh, got it. Okay, good. Alrighty. I'm gonna put like a little, you know. What does I think? I'm drawing a heart. Drawing a heart. Mm-hmm. Drawing a heart. Heart. Yes, that's a heart. This heart. This one is heart. With a heart. Right. Heart on a heart. And then right here. Um. I hear it. Okay. Additional notes. No notes. Additional. Teacher. Notes. No. Yep. Yep. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this is a This is like a letter. This is, you see this is a a mail stamp. A mail stamp. Okay. So I think I'm gonna write, use my own handwriting. Additional. A ticket. A it. I like my handwriting, so I'm okay with that. And so, for additional notes, I'm gonna go ahead and put um, def definitions on this side. And right here, definitions on this side. Oopsie. Oopsie. Right. I end up having to put her on my lap, y'all, because it wasn't gonna work. With me. She's gonna want me to um, pick her up. Uh, and sometimes uh, I let her know I'll be. I can't, but I've been in here for a minute, so. Oh no, sweetie pie. Here, let me give you paper. Paper. You can do that. What you was doing on that? Okay, so trust is to rely oh i have to get off in a few minutes rely have confidence and hold on y'all i need to pause it for a minute hold on you have to get off in a minute so i have to ask hubby to um get her dressed okay trust will i have confidence in right and then the other word is heart and it is inner mind inner man and then we have mind right and then right here um cross reference cross referenced um scriptures Right, and that was, I used number one, um, it was Psalm 37, 5. <laughs> number two, three, and four, okay. Two was, um, is rather Proverbs 16, 3. And then, number three is, First Peter five seven and number four is Philippians four six seven. Okay, okay five more minutes. I'll be done in five more minutes. And this is my prayer card. So I'm gonna write a prayer. Yeah, Father God. I kind of want to write it privately. Yeah. Okay. Never mind. Right. It's okay. Thank you, Lord. I trust you with all 
Thanks for removing, removing anxiety, worry, and leaning on my own understanding. from my soul and um, stopping it from being a habit. Um, I asked that you, here you go, sweetie. Here you go. I ask that you keep me. Thanks for finding me daily. I look to you. In Jesus' name, I ask and praise. Amen. And so, and I'm going to put the date here, which is Last time I did it, when I did an extension, I put the extension on this side because I had the first time I only did a um a prayer tipping, and then I ended up, but since I'm doing both, I was like, okay, I'm gonna put the notes where the notes are, put the prayer on the, the side of the journal, room. and so that goes like this. Okay, I gave it wrong. It's just that when you flip it down, you know, it does that. And some more tape right here. Cut this. scissors and I'm gonna go here All right and then okay. so I just paint it and I know once it closes down it'll be even better oh there we go so I have that and then additional notes should have been here right did I put that right yeah so let me go ahead and put 
additional notes on top here too additional notes good so I like that and so I uh, open it up you know it's not pinked evenly let me pink it evenly I did a little, yeah, that's good. You see that? That's one thing about the pink, and it helps, <laughs> right? And then that we have that there, and then, and you know what? I'm tempted to do, which I may have to come back and that's okay. That's fine. I got a few more minutes. I'm gonna do this, stamp it off, and then come up here and do this. Generation right here, just so it can have some uniformity because I think it'll look better. And then down here, okay, yeah, I like that a little better. And so that's it. That's it. So this opens up like this. Ooh. That's pretty long. But they fold in. This folds in here. This folds in here. And then when I close the Bible, I might put a tab. And again, I may not. And I'm going to lay it like this for a while until I take some pictures and upload this video. Yeah, so that's it. So with that being said... So I want to say thanks for watching. God bless you. And remember, Jesus loves you. Bye-bye.